peace and welcome. This is an interpretation and explanation of Quran. Auzubillahim in Shaitani Rajim. I seek refuge in God from a cursed state. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of God, beneficent and merciful, the first verse starts with these words that I usually read at the beginning of each chapter, except the chapter number nine. But it's not necessary to read it unless you're reading this short chapter number one, which is usually read before you read some other parts of Quran. So it is more important, as it's written in Quran, to seek refuge in God from a cursed Satan. Especially when you are about to read Quran. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alami. All praise is due to God the Lord of the worlds. That includes this world and, and the heaven with the endless sky, with the endless stars and galaxies and space and what we don't know and what we can't even imagine. He is the Lord of all existence all the worlds. He is supreme and above anything and nothing can compare to God. Rahman Iraqi. He is merciful and beneficent, meaning compassionate. There are many chapters where the God is called merciful and there are many chapters where he is called by God and that's Allah, Ilah, Allah that's an Arabic word for God Maliki Yawmiddi He is the king of the judgment day the inevitable day that we will all have to face when we will be rewarded or we will be punished accordingly, corrected for what we did. But note that punishment is only accordingly for what we did without exceeding more than it is required although God also forgives a lot if we ask and if we correct ourselves and if we get the rewards we will get the multiple reward and that's a difference between reward and punishment Punishment only for what we deserve, no more, no less. And reward, actually, a lot more than we deserve. God will give us more out of his bounty and his mercy. Right now, you can see at the top left screen, it is 5.30 a.m. 
I already get up after four and it's my usually routine that I have to go first to the bathroom, take a shower and then brush my teeth and make a tea and then I pray and also like I said studying Quran in the morning there is a verse about that well Quran il Fajr it means and Quran to read meaning to read in the morning Fajr means morning through this series of lectures about interpretation and explanation of Quran in Arabic and English in an English language you can learn both you can learn Arabic plus you can improve your English either way stay tuned and hopefully God willing you'll be able to learn although even if I wanted to I cannot be it is not possible for me to be tutor to be someone's supervisor or guardian those three things even if I try and all of all of the prophets did try with their best efforts but it is not possible for me to change your decision everybody has the free will just like God says whoever wants he will believe and whoever doesn't want they will not believe no matter what kind of proof or miracle or sign or whatever kind of argument they will never they will never believe and they cannot believe nobody can believe unless we first submit to God and that what Islam means it means submission and Muslims means those who are submitted who are obedient to God only then they receive the faith they become believers and after that they receive a faith a belief this is what we ask from God actually we are always asking him for help for help but we also we serve him so we are his servants we are his servants and we are asking for his help Ikhdina sirat al mustaki to guide us to the straight path. And that's the the path that leads to the heaven, to the garden, to the bliss, to eternal mercy and happiness which is opposite to the path that leads to the destruction, to the hellfire and the suffering. Sirat al-lazine nante alayhim, gairi al-magdubi alayhim, waladali. That is the path of those upon whom you have given your favors. Or we can also translate that as blessings. That's the path which is full of blessings. And that's not the path of those upon whom your wrath is brought down. Because of their constant disobedience and enmity towards God and those who believe nor of those who go astray and this is another kind these are hypocrites they are the ones who are deluded 
because they're trying to delude God and those who believe, but they actually only delude themselves because they are pretending they are acting belief while they are underneath, they are disbelievers and very harsh enemies. Now let's continue. As you have seen, this was the just just short chapter with a couple of verses which we can recite before reciting the rest of Quran. And that means you don't have to again read the Bismillah Rahman Rahim because we already read it like five, ten minutes ago. It's not necessary to repeat and it's not part of the verse. The actual verse is Elif Lamin. And these are three Arabic letters. Only God know, knows the meaning of these letters, which sometimes are at the top of the some of the chapters, which we call surah. Zalikil kitabu la raibafi. This book contains no doubt. So whoever comes and say he has a doubt, that means that person has not, has not studied enough and has not learned the Quran by heart because their heart could be corrupted or locked or under many other conditions which are stated and described in Quran in pretty much of a detail. Khudeulil Muttaki. It is a guide for those who are careful. Now some other translations which are less correct, I pick up the Shakir. Shakir means thankful, a thankful person. Or Shakir or Shakira, these are the names. But their meaning means thankful. Just like my name, Senat, is an Arabic name which means support. Usually, Muttakin, sometimes in some other translation, falsely translated as God-fearing. Actually, if you read Quran, that word is mentioned a lot, and you can figure out it's actually about being careful, about being watchful, about being mindful and concentrated, about paying attention instead of opposite to it, which is neglectful, which is careless, and so on. That's why a lot of people are heedless and no matter how many times we warn them and try to help them to explain to them to interpret to them the true meaning they will still refuse and they will still follow the Satan instead of the God's guidance which is Quran or any other book because Quran recognizes and supports all of the prophets and all of their books making no difference or distinction between them. This is one of the requirements. It is a belief in the unknown, unseen, something that we can't even imagine. Just like we can see endless stars and so many endless galaxies because God's might is unending is the most powerful and it contains many many worlds each filled with many different creatures just like on this planet and also whatever God also he is omnipotent he is supreme he can do anything he wills so there are also Man, many worlds, for instance, that we cannot know, we cannot even imagine. 
but there is a lot that we can. Wayukimune salat and 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 those adult, another requirement actually, and those who keep up their prayer. There are people who pray but they give up afterwards because they don't realize the prayer takes time to be answered. Sometimes it's answered quick, but a lot of times might take a while, might take even months or even many years. But God will not fail in promise. Each prayer will be answered even if it's not answered in this life. It will be answered in the next life. So keep up your prayer every day, every night, every moment, as much as you can. Zikrullah il Akbar. That means the mentioning of God is the greatest. And those also who are who are giving out. And those who are giving that which is also what is also given to them. Just like God says in another verse in Quran that some people are given more but they fail to give, to distribute to those who are in their dominion. Let's say who are their companions or who are their friends, or they are their worker, workers, or family, in any way they, they fail to distribute, even though they are also given that from God. But they don't understand that, and they are being selfish and stinky. وَالَّذِينَ يُكْمِنُونَ بِمَا And those who also believe in that which, which has been revealed before, before you. That means all books like a Torah, like a gospel or any other book from any other prophet, Quran recognizes and supports them all. But I, I just said that, but before that is, sorry, I might have skipped. Let me do it again. Waladina yukminune bimaun zileli. Can those who believe in what is revealed to you, if I translate words word by word, because sometimes the translation can have some mistakes or flaws or some words that we can replace with the words that give better meaning and explanation. So, وَلَذِينَ يُكْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ That means those who believe in what is revealed to you, which means Quran. If you believe in anything else besides Quran and other books revealed to the prophets like Torah, Psalms and Gospel and so on, all of them, that does not include some of the books which are falsely attributed to the prophets. For instance, one of the book which is being added to Quran, and in this verse it is also there is also in one place there will be talk about replacing God's book with some other book which is worthless when compared to God's guidance, which is supreme. For instance, the famous book of Hadith by Bukhari from Khorasan, Kazakhstan area, a supposedly, supposedly, that's the person who wrote it, but it's hard to tell. It could be anyone or anything and even if it's that person that is written hundred years after Quran revelation. But even if you tell this and even if they understand and say, yes, you are correct, they will still be disobedient 
a lot of them because God says that most people are not believers and that most people and most demons will end up in hell punishment because of what they are doing. And this is what also supports, this is also one of many places where Quran supports and what is revealed before you. That means all of the books, because they are, pro they are also verses that supports all prophets and all the books which were revealed to them. But that does not mean that any other book can be added and that can be used to replace or change the meaning of Quran. The Satan makes it acceptable to them by convincing them that they will explain Quran with Hadith, but Quran states that it explains itself. There is no place in Quran mentioning any kinds of hadith instead of Quran, which is also hadith. Hadith means saying speech. And those who are certain of the hereafter, that means who have, who have no doubts about the next future life. Ulaike ala khudahu min rabbihi. These are guided by their Lord. Wa ulaike kumul muflihu. And those are who are successful. It doesn't say will be successful. It just say they are successful. That means the success is there, but not, but it might not be visible yet, might not be revealed yet. And it also during this life it can also be revealed if we follow Quran, if we study, and we show the example to the others to follow if we set one precedent about it in a ladina keparu seva una lehim a enzar teku and blentun zirkum la yuk minu those who do not believe it is just the same whether we warn them or whether we do not warn them so how can we even be their tutors, their guardians, or their supervisors? That means the persons in charge of them. But we are not. And even if we do, we're not going to be successful at all. And that is explained in Quran as well in perfect detail. But those who object are people who do not have heart to memorize Quran. They don't know Quran except a little bit, which is not enough at all. So these people would never believe no matter what, even if they say, yes, you are right, because of their heart condition, they will not believe, because the heart is also needed, not just the mind. Although there is a lot of them who do not even understand by their minds, and those who do, then they have problem with their hearts, and that means they cannot realize what they know. وَلَهُمْ عَزَابٌ أَلِيمٌ وَلَهُمْ عَزَابٌ عَزِيمٌ God has set a seal over their hearts. That's why they cannot understand. Even if they realize, yes, that's true, but 
if their heart is corrupted or sealed or blocked or any other way there are many ways that can affect the heart and it is described in Quran many times and there is covering also over the hearing so their hearts and their and their hearing is sealed while the so they cannot understand at all and they don't want to listen they want they don't want to hear let's say when i check the analytics of youtube videos you can see that even the most visited videos have only if you have all the average you know most people don't watch more than just a minute so that is in support of this statement in this verse and i will during this series of interpretation and translation of quran meaning i will give many examples also in our everyday and real life situations on top of the many wor verses that explain all of the verses that that i will be reading for each verse there is at least another verse elsewhere in quran that will explain it and it uh, in, interpret it in a tiniest detail so that nobody can have any doubt left but you have to meet all these conditions which are right in the beginning of quran listed and we already read all of them so there is also a covering over the eyes so even though they can see they don't want to see they rather be blind and choose ignorance and because of that a great punishment awaits them which is in hell and this great punishment awaits because it's in next life even you cannot punish them in this life that would be cruel and we can't do that the exact punishment can only god give and distribute what we can do is just keep them lock away from others so in order to protect but they also will have some sort of god says in quran some sort of punishment in this world too happens to them but that's not enough for what they did for instance if somebody is killing people all his life doing all kinds of bad things it is not possible to punish those at all only in some cases of minor offenses but major offenses and everything the punishment is awaiting in the next life and there are some people who say that they believe in God and in the next life which is hereafter but they are not believers let's see why they are deceiving God and those who believe but they only deceive themselves but they do not perceive that they don't see they don't perceive that they actually are deceiving themselves while they are trying to deceive god and those who believe but they will find out they think they are sly and cunning and smarter just because they are careless just because they are God's enemies and they are doing whatever they want without any fear and no regret 
about what they are doing or what they did. We must understand that they are deceiving is nothing that God can that God sees and hears everything and that they will actually be deceiving themselves with that because everything they do to the others it will come back whether it's good or bad in this case people who are actively lying deceiving others cheating in all sorts of ways they don't realize that they are actually deceiving themselves and that they will hit the wall one day and that will be the end of what they did no more in their hearts is corruption sometimes this is translated instead as a disease in the heart but that wouldn't be correct because there is no actual disease that the healer or doctor can take care of or anybody else who is eligible and who is able to help others it's actually corruption sometimes we can say they are they are sick people with the sick hearts but actually the much better word is corruption their heart is are corrupted dirty in a pitch black darkness because of the sin of the many thing of the many bad and evil things they do god said in another verse in quran over time these evil deeds accumulate in their heart and completely cover it with other pitch in and utterly cover it and completely cover it with other pitch dark darkness that's the way it is so we can't see that with the eye with the physical eye but actually with the spiritual eye they are they are dark they are completely covered in darkness like a darkest shadow that you can imagine while the believers those who submit and are obedient to god with the spiritual eye we can see that they are a light creatures that they are shining bright light and happy in god's mercy they are just like angels and that's what we are going to become if we practice just like jesus said in gospel be perfect like your god like your creator in heaven who is perfect the actual word fatir father is arabic word and it means maker maker which is different than halik which means creator so he's our maker nobody else made us you know if my physical father or your physical father did not make us did not pick how we gonna look or behave or how we gonna what we gonna believe or what kind of person we gonna believe we do not have it, have any control over that so we are not makers that's why jesus said never say never never call your daddy father or which translates to make because he did not make you only god made you when i was a kid i remember one one older guy insulting me saying who made you meaning who is your father because in some languages the father is also translated as maker and I did not answer because nobody made me. They are just creatures like us. It's corruption. Just like we, we say there is a corruption in the people. Actually, their hearts are corrupted. 
they know what they're doing, but the cards can be corrupted, so they may actually not really be knowing what they're doing. Just like Jesus said, forgive them, God, for they don't know. Forgive them, Father, forgive them, Maker, for they do not know what they're doing. because of their hearts. You can understand something, but if you don't feel it with your heart, you're not gonna be, a, be able nor capable to do anything about it. Would not be enough. Just by knowing something, just by saying something, as you can see, it's not enough just by saying that you believe in God and that you believe in next life. Whatever else you can say, it can turn out to be a lie and false promise. Walehum azabun elimun bima kanu yaksibu. Nati inig cheka. So that means. Walehum azabun elim. And there is a punishment awaiting for them, which is big and great, but only we must understand for what they're doing. And we don't know many people actually live in the fairy tale, which is okay. We sometimes, I mean some people, but we should do that more often. We should protect children for harmful content. You know. Sometimes you can forget something, the movie suddenly from nice can turn to the bad or something so you have to check what is it all about you have to make sure otherwise i know the case of one kid that was not watching the movie but parents were watching the movies and they were part somebody was attacking the police guy and the little boy said no more watching this movie because he did not like what he saw so we as adults might be looking at it different as a movie, as a whatever it is. Might be a fantasy, might be make-believe, might be not real, might be real, might be something, who knows what. But we must make sure that the children are not exposed to it. But in return, that way... They are protected, but then they don't know what is this life about, and then they can end up as a as a victim to those who oppress us, who are lying and deceiving us. But just like God said, we have to endure it. We have to be patient about it, and we must understand that that is not God's punishment, whatever bad happens to us. That does not mean that God is punishing or being displeased by us. That means we are only under the trial because of other humans who have put us on the trial, who are oppressing us and fighting us by their lies, by their treachery and their, their, and their all kinds of way that they use to deceive and control us in order to manipulate, in order to use us, uh, or, or in order to hurt us, because these corrupted people, they can only enjoy when they see something bad happening to others. They delight in such evil. Instead of feeling compassionate, feeling sorry, instead of helping, they actually the opposite. So the great painful, painful punishment is awaiting them because of their lies, because they're lying to believe in God. They're lying to believe in next life. If they really did believe in next life, they wouldn't be selfish and stingy. They wouldn't be antisocial, avoiding all the people. They wouldn't be so much negative and hostile and upset and nervous all the time. But they would be the opposite to it. 
Quran is the guidance which can guide us and it can also help us just like all the other revelations from all the other prophets. Let's continue with the 11th verse which further describe the condition of these people with corrupted hearts. وَإِذَا كِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَقْنُ مُسْلِخُ And whenever they make some kind of mischief in the land and just like I was describing they're doing all kinds of evil you know like wars and famine and and evicting people on the street to die or spoiling the food or causing inflation or whatever kind of mischief on the earth they do they only say we are actually trying to make things right we are just peacemakers on the contrary they are mischief makers but they do not perceive it. Some of these, they do not perceive it. They are also deluded by the others who are oppressing them. And there will be word about this in Quran, about those who, who are oppressors and those who are oppressed. And those who are oppressed will not have any excuse for allowing themselves to be oppressed and put in such a position just by a mere people like them which were actually corrupted evil and bad some of them might not perceive because they are being deluded deceived by others but there are some who are knowingly doing it and they are they are and they are on higher level of unbelief so there is always the degrees you know in belief as as well they are it they are degrees in unbelief belief is called iman while disbelief unbelief is called kufr so some people have big kufr they are very good kufar they are very good at disbelief they are very strong. They are satans, they are devils in human shape. But a lot of them do not perceive because they are subconsciously doing what they what the others oppressors have been doing to them. So whenever they are told not to corrupt the land, not to cause wars and conflicts and all kinds of bad things. They always have some kind of excuse because Satan makes it acceptable and beautiful in their mind and in their opinion. So they accept it as, the, as is it their own, as is it's right, heedless of the consequences of such negative acts. God is good, but he will not fail in administering his justice. But we must understand that God stated in Quran that his day is equal to the thousand years of human time. Human time is very short while the next life is very long we call it eternal but it doesn't mean forever and ever because only god is in the state of forever we are his creatures so god does what he wills but he has ordered for himself to be a merciful and compassionate so he's not going to do what humans do for instance to torture others 
in all kinds of way and to enjoy in their pain and suffering. God will only punish as a way of correction. Let's continue further. Wa iza kila lehum aminu kema amenasu kalu enukminu kema amenasufeka. Ela inehum humu sufeka wala kinla yaklemu. And when they are told, these people with corrupt hearts that are lying that they believe in God and in the next life, they say, when they are told, believe as the real people believe. What is our key And when they when they are told to believe, Kema Amen Nas, just like the rest of the people. Kalu and Nukmin, they answer, they say, Are we going to believe like those who are fools? Elain Nekum Kumu Sufekawala Kin Lai Aklemu. On the contrary, they are fools, but they do not know. They cannot realize that they are actually being foolish for pretending their belief. Wa iza lekulazina amenu kalu amena. Wa iza kalawila shayatini him kalu idna meaku. Innama naknu mustaqsiyu. And when they meet those who believe, they say, we believe also, confirming they believe, but when they are alone or with other unbelievers, hypocrites, when they are together with the devil, Satan, they say, we are with you. We are only mocking them. So you have to, this word mocking will be mentioned many times in Quran and it's probably mentioned in the Bible and other revelations as well. It's the mocking mockery. That's one of the feature of these people with corrupted hearts. They enjoin not just in hurting others in the pain and suffering of other people or other creatures, not just humans, they also like to suffer other creatures, other animals, The one of their feature is mocking. They like to mock and that makes them laugh. They enjoy mocking others and also mocking God as well. Allah yastakziyu bihim wa yamudduhum fi tugoyanihim yakmehu. God will pay them back for their mockery. So God is very well aware of their mockery. Because they like to mock people and when people pray, they like to mock them, to make fun of them. They enjoy in this kind of characteristic, which is negative in nature. So the God will punish them for all their mockery and he will leave them alone in their inordinacy to blindly keep wandering on. That means this is the explanation of another verse when in Quran where God says that he is guiding but he also lets go astray those who are not who do not want to be guided. So the God does not guide those who are willingly, by their own free will, refusing to be guided 
and they are also being the enemies. So God lets those in their reprobate mind, as it is mentioned in Bible, those people also are mocking. They used to mock all of the prophets and gods and those who believe. They're trying to make fun of us or call us names or many other things that they do which will be described in Quran in perfect detail so that we can know so that we can be guided and recognize when somebody is mocking us and we don't have to say that person not to do it because they won't listen to us the best way as God has commanded us in Quran is to avoid them avoid them at all costs with nice avoidance so stay away as far as possible from such people that's the only solution in this in this world because no matter what we tell them they won't ever listen to us they will keep on mocking if they mock god you know then we are nothing for them you know they can mock us too and also hurt us cause many sufferings mental emotional or physical god knows what kind of bad things they can do and they enjoy and like doing it we have to protect ourselves by seeking god's protection and his help at all times and to rely on him and these are also the Quranic verses I'm telling you. So whatever I tell you from advice, from explanation, it's from Quran or it's from another previous revelations. Or I will tell you the examples from real life. Ulai kiladina shtarabu dalala tabilu huda pema rabbika tijara tuhum bama kanu muktadi. These are who by mistake instead of guidance. Actually, mistake, it is mistake, but the word dalalit was already dalal was already in first chapter a small one we recited before starting this one over there was translated as going astray so these are the people that are bu that are buying that are buying deceivement because this word means being deceived being going astray being deluded from the guidance huda means guidance sorry about this interruption it's actually delusion so these are the so these are the ones who are buying delusion instead of guidance but it purchase will not give them any gain so whatever the gain they might have and feel it's temporarily it's just a fleeting enjoyment which is not real and it also lasts very short so this purchase of delusion will bring them no gain and they are not guided they are not on the straight path and we will continue with the 17 verse next time we are almost around one hour mark and i want to keep it like that so
So the next verses will just describe them, giving many examples, which will further describe these deluded people who are deceiving, trying to deceive, but only deceive themselves and who are mocking and lying and doing corruption on the earth, causing conflicts, violence, wars, riots, protests, and any kinds of bad happenings. So we can conclude it, this lecture with the finish with the 16th verse. You can tag verses like this and they will change color. This is iQuran app that I use and I and I recommend and require all of you to use it. And you can also turn off these tags. But sometimes you want to tag some verses which you need to memorize well, which have some kind of conclusion to the other verses before it or afterwards. Like I said, Quran explain itself, and that's not my word, that's what Quran actually states. As well also, Quran states that it is pure truth, no doubt, completely explained in a detail. And those who complain, they don't know, they don't understand, but they still, they, but they still say actually they lie in that case, but... God knows. Nobody can hide it. God knows who is real and who is fake. Thank you for watching, reading and listening. Thank you for studying and learning. Peace and may God bless us all. He is the most beautiful creator. He is loving and caring maker. He made us. He is the closest to us, much closer than any other connection between us creatures. Because we are all creatures made by our Maker, our Creator, one and only God, the Lord of all the worlds. To Him belong all the glory, all the praise, and all the thanks on the heaven and on the Earth, may the eternal glory and praise be to him on this and, and, and any other world that he makes. May we always glorify him and never stop in mentioning him, being thankful and praising him, glorifying him whenever we fall, before we fall asleep and after we wake up before it, the sun comes out and before the sun comes down. We glorify him in the middle of the day, in the morning and also at the night time. We always frequently mention our maker, our creator. There is no God except him, one and only God. He is far above how some, people, how some people falsely describe him. He has not begotten and he has not incarnate. He is creator, not a creature. Far above is he how people falsely describe him. Glory be to God. Eternal, perfect, who care about us more than anybody else. To him we belong and to him we return.